Mozilla Firefox is a free and open source web browser developed by the Mozilla Foundation and the Mozilla Corporation. Mozilla Firefox is the third most popular web browser with around 20% global market share. One of Firefox's key features is the ability to install add-ons which extend or modify the browser's functionality. The new Mozilla Firefox features a user interface codenamed Australis. Australis introduces a cleaner, more compact, and more streamlined user interface. In addition, Australis allows users to customize the layout of their browser. In Customize mode, users can drag visual elements to any part of the browser they like. In order to be customizable, add-on elements must be written using Australis's new libraries. Our project focuses on developing the first three Australis add-ons. The Bugzilla widget provides a dashboard for all of a user's Bugzilla bugs. From the widget, users can quickly view categorized summaries of all of their bugs and access them on the Bugzilla website. Users may enter their Bugzilla username in the Username text box and press Enter. The add-on checks whether the given username is valid or invalid and indicates this by turning either green or red respectively. If the user is valid, the add-on will fetch all of the given user's bugs from the Bugzilla server. A valid username is stored for the next time the user opens Firefox. Bugs are divided into five categories. Bugs in the To Review category have an attachment for which the user is flagged as a reviewer. Bugs in the To Check In category have a patch submitted by the user that has been reviewed and approved. Bugs in the to nag category have a patch submitted by the user that has not yet been reviewed. Bugs in the to respond category are bugs which have been flagged for the user to respond to. Bugs in the to fix category have been assigned to the user and do not yet have a patch attached. Next to each category is the number of bugs in that category and the number of new bugs in that category. To view a category's bugs, users click on that category. Clicking on a category's head expands the category to reveal its bugs. Clicking on a second category's head expands the second category and collapses the first. Clicking on an open category's head collapses that category. Inside of the categories are their bugs. Each bug has a few common elements. The bug's ID is shown on the left, and its summary is shown on the right. Bugs which are bolded are new bugs which the user has not opened. Users may click on a bug to open its full report on the Bugzilla server. The bugs page on the server gives the user all of the bugs details. Once a bug is clicked, it is registered as not new. The number of new bugs is decremented. And the bugs text is no longer in bold. The Music Widget is a browser-based music player. From the Music Widget, users can view and play back audio files from their local music collection. When the widget is first installed, the user must set their local music directory. A file browser appears for the user to select their music directory. Once the user has specified their music directory, it is scanned for compatible music files in MP3, AUGVORBIS, AAC, or WAV formats. Audio files are loaded into the user's music library. Users may later change their music directory using the Change Directory button. Users can select a track for playback by double-clicking its entry in the track list. Once a track is selected, playback begins and information about the track is displayed in the player view. Displayed information includes the track's album art, the track title, the album title, and the track's artist. While a track is playing, the user may click and drag the progress slider to jump to another point in the song. Users also have buttons to control playback. Users can pause or play the track. 
Skip to the next track in the list. Or skip to the previous track in the list. Users may filter tracks using the search box. When a user types keywords into the search box, the tracks displayed in the track list are filtered by those keywords. The weather widget displays simple current weather conditions for up to five user-selected cities. The main view of the weather widget displays a list of cities. Information about the cities, such as the name, temperature, weather icon, and a few other details are displayed. The weather icon displays cloud coverage and conditions such as rain, thunderstorms, and hail. City names can be clicked to open a Yahoo weather page for that city. From this web page, a user can view a more informative forecast for the city. To customize the widget, the user can click the Customize button at the top of the main view to move into a customized view. The Customize view allows the user to add, delete, and favorite cities in addition to setting the default units for the temperature and distance. The user can click the Exit Customization button to go back to the main view. Buttons are available to set the user preferences for measurement scales. To add a city, the user can enter a zip code or name for the city into the text box and hit the Add button. This will add a new city to the list. To delete a city, the user can press a red X on the city to remove it. Clicking on the white outline of a star on the city will favorite that city. Favoriting a city moves the city to the top of the list. The favorited city's weather icon is used as the widget's live icon. The live icon displays the temperature and weather conditions for the favorited city. When the favorited city changes, the live icon changes. When the weather for the favorite city gets updated, the icon is updated. Current cities and preferences for temperature and distance scales are saved to the user's preferences file. Special thanks to the course professor, Dr. Wayne Dykeson. The course teaching assistant, Malcolm Doering, our client contacts, Heis Kreutbach and Jared Wine, and the Mozilla Corporation.